Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2 Storms of Zeh here. Where we left off last time, we are just leveling up, which we did. We're now level 12. Things are looking pretty good for our group. Our damage on our monk is 2 to 12, plus 2 with a 19 to 20 crit rate, and plus 1 slashing damage. Our warrior has 3 attacks at plus 21, plus 16, plus 11. Our Cleric is plus 15, plus 10, 2 attacks, and so on. We also have a favored soul who actually doesn't hit very well now that I look at her stat line. It's because... actually I don't know why. She's only level... oh, she's only level 10. She's a full two levels behind the rest of our group. Anyways, we're gonna talk to Danly. Oh, hello. You look like the intrepid adventurer type. Want to help a businessman out? What's in it for me? You see, until just a few months ago, the old cold iron mine to the southeast in the Sword Mountains was overrun by orcs, goblins, and other unpleasant creatures. I plan to gather some people, probably some veterans from the Shadow War, to clear out the orcs and seize the mine for Phandalin. Maybe finally put some good ore. Put out some good ore for once. Get to the point. When suddenly, lo and behold, these two representatives from some mining company mysteriously show up, say they've cleared out the orcs and won the rights to operate the mine. So what's the problem? It just doesn't seem right. Maybe they have connection to the Black Network? Maybe the representatives of Luskin or Om? I don't know, but how did they know the mine was there? How did they raise an army so quickly? Something's not right. What's worse, they haven't been selling to any outside buyers, and they brought in all their own miners. So the people of Phandalin haven't seen a copper from the mine. We're happy the orcs are gone, but we deserve better. If you'll investigate and prove they're up to something, I'll reward you. And if you help us establish control of the mine, we'll sell you cold iron. At a reduced price, of course. The mine is to the southeast. Please let me know as soon as you found anything. Okay. I can do that for you guys. Orcs and stuff, not a big deal. Uh, wait, before we leave though, where'd that innkeeper go? I'll rent a room. I'm also extremely poor. I spent all my money- oh, never mind. No, I didn't. I, uh, did a bunch of trading stuff. We now have 47 gold- or 47 gold? 47,000 gold. Um, and probably a bunch of trading bars waiting for us. Did this is southeast or southwest? Well, I know it was south at least. We're just gonna use Intimidate. So most of these fights have become very trivial now, there's not any challenge to them. If you watch our main character in the combat, he's gonna go in and just lay waste to everything. He also has Cleave now too. Switching targets. The enemies are actually running away. And our sorcerer is just a killing machine. I actually really like our sorcerer. He's getting very powerful. Especially against groups. He's decent in... One-on-one -on -one combat, but... Where he shines is in murdering groups of things. With his fireballs and his firebrand. And we'll uh, slowly gain levels as we continue, obviously, as well. It's gonna be a little bit slower now. There's a group of things called the Marauders. Oh, okay. An unusually large orc leads a band of Marauders in your direction. We approach. That is a good omen. Groomish is happy we find you. Groomish, is that your name? Ha! Groomish's greatest god to orc warriors. My name, Ograth. Today is big day for Ograth. Today, Ograth became Eye of Groomsh. You watch and see true power of mighty Groomsh. An Eye of Groomsh receives special blessings from the Orc God himself, so it is said. Maybe you're not as stupid as you look. You'll be witness to right of Groomsh, then. You'll be test to finish right. The right of Groomsh, what's that? It is sacred right, for when strongest of Orcs become sacred to Groomsh. After ritual, we have tested strength to Groomsh. We cross your skulls and drink your blood. Sounds like a test you'll lose. Very well, carry on with your ritual. Room shear me. Take my eyes. Offer. Offer for your favor. Ograth pulls a rusty dagger from his belt and thrusts it violently into his right eye. Without muttering a sound, the massive orc twists the dagger and pulls the punctured eye from its orifice. Ouch, that had to hurt. Gore flows freely down the face of the mighty orc as he looks at you menacingly with a single bloodshot eye. Ograth can feel power from mighty Groomsh. Ograth now bless ritual. Press ritual with blood. 
So now we have to fight. What? What, is what a bunch of idiots. They stabbed himself in his... He should have blind... Now. Well, that was the end of the fight. I'll take your halberd plus one, though. And a dagger plus one, too. Get some sweet extra monies. Not that we actually need money at this point of the game. We are pretty set for money from now on. All we have to do is go grab trade bars and then trade them for like a billion dollars. Now where's the stupid mine? There it is. The Fandolin Cold Iron Mines. Right up against the mountains. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Let's go inside, see what's going down. Why, hello there. Uh, welcome to the Cold Iron Mining Company. I'm here as an investigator for Fandolin. Oh, we weren't informed. That fool Danley probably reported us to the authorities. Ah, yes, Danley. He holds a grudge because he cleared this mine of its hostile occupants before he did, and as such earned the rights to operate it. He clearly intends to blacken our name, this filth. I attempt to see if anything is out of place with a spot check. Something seems wrong. The shadows cast on the ground seem to flicker in an unusual way, as if an illusion were modifying them. Hmm, I'm sensing, an, I'm sensing an illusion present here. I don't know what that would be. Perhaps the former occupants used illusion magic of some sort. You're lying. Don't bother with talk, Daniel. Let's deal with these ones. They're trouble. Too true. Sorry, friends. You shouldn't poke your nose where it doesn't belong. Yes. What, what are they exactly? What are those? They're not orcs. Bugbears? They're too big to be bugbear bugbears, though. Are they barghests? No, that doesn't sound right either. Hmm. Hello? Anybody else home? Pretty big mine, I guess. We should always save every once in a while. Nothing over there. There's a room here with a mining foreman. There's a troll, apparently. Not sure how we killed that troll. It was an ogre. I mean, it wasn't a troll. That's definitely an ogre. Why did no one finish off that last guy? I gotta say, this isn't very challenging so far. Our Claire can handle that. Probably. Now oh, she keeps running around like a maniac, though. Oh, she finished them off. So she can totally handle it. Good job, Cleric. Apparently there was another group from this direction. Not really sure who killed them. Our Cleric, probably? I also started playing Might and Magic 10, not for the channel, just for funsies. It's a, it's a, you know what? Okay, so it's hit and miss for me. It's both very fun because it's scratching my dungeon crawler itch, like my Eye of the Beholder type game itch.
but at the same time, it's not like Might and Magic 6, 7, and 8, which I loved. So that part bugs me. It's kind of a toss-up. But I am actually deeply enjoying it. If I don't look at it like a Might and Magic game, if I pretend it's not Might and Magic as much as possible, I can uh, really, really enjoy it. If I pretend, if I know it's Might and Magic though, in the forefront of my mind, then it's not as good of a game as it should be. So yeah, it's kind of weird how our perceptions change based on the brand associated with the game. Because it was called like Heroic Adventures of whatever land they're in. Or like, I don't know, Shadow Storm or something like that. I would love the game. And I'm sure it'd have even better reviews on Steam because it has mixed reviews. But because it has Might and Magic attached to the name, there's a certain level of quality expected. Which is actually kind of funny because some of the Might and Magic games have been absolutely atrocious. But, you know, sort of where that's at. Really liking it though. I may do it for the channel after I'm done it. Just because I want to play through it first. I'm going to untrap myself. Why can't I break the door? Keep going. There's treasure in there. All I need to do is critically hit this door and I should be able to blast it apart. We have really bad rolls coming in. No, we were so close to a crit there. We have a 10% chance of critting. I just want to see if a crit can actually break it. My weapon. In effect. Alternatively, divine damage might do. Sometimes divine damage goes through doors. We'll try crit with this and then we'll see. My weapon. In effect. Um, if our cleric can deal My with it instead. In effect. Come on, 119 or 20. Anytime now. My weapon. In effect. This a critical miss. Hooray! At least we can do one type of critical. These terrible rolls. All these sub-10 rolls in a row. I was doing a bunch of over-10 rolls though. Right, right there. We're so close there. Come on. 10% chance. Make this happen. Come on. Statistically, at least 1 in 10 should do a critical hit. And yet, we've gotten two critical misses and no critical hits. God, I... Luck three critical misses now. Still no critical hit. Anytime you would like to roll a 19 or 20. See, this is my luck. This is why I should never gamble, ever. Oh, there we go. So we critically hit, but it didn't do any damage. Okay. Let's try with the divine weapon. Nope. Alright, we need to find a key or something. Is there's treasure in there and I want it. Sometimes when you critically hit a door, it'll explode anyways, but... It's not the case here. Maybe there's a key in those remains that I miss. There is not. We'll do one more quick glance around the mine, make sure we didn't miss any keys or chests or anything, but if not, I guess we're gonna have to call it, oh there's another bag, call it a lost cause. I wonder if an acid flask would deal damage to the door. We do have spells. We could try some spells on the door. Alright, really quickly we're going to try a couple spells. See if anything happens. If not, we're going to leave. Because I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time trying to break down the stupid door. I wish we had knock. Should have gotten knock. Sure, yes. Okay, that didn't work. Um... Nope. Alright. We'll try an acid arrow and that'll be it. 
Can't even target the door with an acid arrow. Do we have knock? I don't think we do. We do have knock. What the hell am I talking about? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, it didn't work. We unlocked the chest, though. Got some experience for unlocking the chest. I guess it's good we tried to break down the door then. Hmm. I wonder where the key is. Maybe we get that treasure after we turn in the quest, just like with the dragons. That is a possibility. Because it doesn't look like the key is anywhere in here. Oh, there's another room? No, this is the way we came in. Okay, let's go turn in the quest and see what happens. Maybe we'll get a key then. There's something you wish. Let's go into the tavern, tell him that we cleared it out. Have you dealt with Yes. Thank heavens, we'll begin work on opening the mine immediately. In the meantime, here's your reward. Thank you. You're most certainly welcome. Farewell, friend. Oh. No key. Well, I guess we really should have gotten a rogue. I guess knock doesn't work on that. I wonder if we can start dumping points into open lock with... Actually, you know what? We have, um... What's it called? What? That casting what feat. Is... Practice spellcaster, sorcerer. So what we could do, actually, is uh, grab a couple of rogue points with our sorcerer and get him to do open locks and find traps. We'll do that next level. That sounds like a great idea. Practice Spellcaster means he'll continue to gain his, um, sorcerer abilities. No, we're not gonna join. The thing about joining a battle, like, no, we should fight that one, maybe. Uh, cool. Joining a battle gives you way less experience, like, massively less. If you join a battle, as opposed to fighting it on your own, you get, like, 10% of the experience. It's stupid. It's a complete waste of time. I also need to rest, I think. Love Firebrand, so good. Is that it? Everyone's dead? I still don't know what those big guys were we fought initially. That not? Maybe Orogs? Kind of looked like Orogs, I guess. Hmm. Anyways, it doesn't matter too much. Leaving those guys to deal with that. What are you going? Just... What? No, go... Why are you trying to go around the forest that way? That doesn't make any sense. That is not the quickest path. I assure you. I'm not sure why our caravan has stopped either. Oh, because there's trolls. Oh, we're out of haste, aren't we? That's bad. What? What is it? We're also out of firebrands. That's also bad. That was a terrible spell of tentacles. If you want to do tentacles, you gotta do it right. You gotta wait till they stop moving. Oh. He got interrupted because he was a little bit too close. Okay. I have acid arrows, right? Yeah, okay. So at least got some acid arrows to deal with. The trolls. We should really put, like, fire on one of our weapons. 
It's actually a really good idea. Especially since that can happen. They regenerate just enough that the acid splash doesn't kill them. Everyone's all alive. Let's try this out. Make sure we win. There we go. Everything's dead. Also, we have like a billion giant's hearts to turn in for uh, bounties or whatever. I don't think I picked that up. I love black tentacles, by the way. They're such a fun ability. That might be worth some experience, though. We need a lot to level still, though. 13. So if we get a level of Rogue, we're gonna get a... Well, we won't get that many skill points. We'll get six or so. Or seven, maybe, with our Sorcerer. We need to rest, so we're gonna have to run. Is there something you wish? This caravan has always stopped. Doesn't make any sense to me. We're gonna go to Connieberry. I think there might be a side quest here to pick up. In the tavern. In fact, I'm almost certain there is. There seems to be one in every tavern, but just one. It's kind of weird. Spend the night first. And we'll talk to... Jacintus Parr. Hello. You seem to be the enterprising sort. I am. Are you interested in... The music just cut out. That was weird. In doing some work for me, I can pay handsomely for your efforts. Yeah. I've been managing my uncle's mine for years until a recent disaster collapsed and flooded it. Unfortunately, the miners who were working at the time perished in the accident, and they appear to have riven, risen as undead. Make it quick. In short, I need you to recover the deed to my mine and kill the undead who now roam it. Where is it? The mine, Param's Rock, is to the west in the Neverwinter Wood by the river. Should you bring me the deed and proof that you've cleared the mine, I will pay you a hefty sum of both gold and goods that my company has acquired in recent trading. All right, you're on. Tavern boy, tavern patron, Finch who can die for all I care about his stupid nobility problem. Maybe you shouldn't piss off nobles in the land that you're in. Just saying. Well, I fully agree with freedom of the press. I also believe in freedom of speech. However, freedom of speech does not equal freedom from consequences. And that's the reality of the situation. Intimidate them. I like the experience, so we do all these fights not because they're hard or because they're challenging or even because they're all that entertaining. It's because of the sweet experience. I want to get level 13. That guy is really cruising that turret. Why are they all splitting up? Fine, I'll go after this one. Oh, that guy's dead. Next one. That guy's also dead. Greater Missile Swarm to the face of a bandit will definitely kill him. Ow, he hit me for three. What a jerk. Maybe that he hit me for three because I'm going in the wrong direction, I just realized. To the west, not to the southwest. Everything's been to the south for so long that I just totally assumed it was to the south for some reason. Even though he specifically said to the west through the Neverwinter Wood by the river. Yes, that is so. Okay, we're going this way. In fact, I think we can see it on the map there, Param's Rock. Through the Neverwinter Woods, which inevitably does slow us down a tiny bit. How do we get to it? Where is it? Down by the river. We're going to see if we can ignore the monstrous band, but they did see us, so it's possible that they're going to catch us. Leave Freddy alone! There we go. They went away. There's Param's Rock. 
And we'll quick save because we're getting pretty close. Also, we're sort of out of time, so I guess we'll stop at the mine. If there's a main room, we'll clear it out really quickly. Or if there's any enemies in the main room. Nope. Okay, we're in a lovely little spot. So, we're going to call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.